uh, I am obligated to tell you you're being audio and video recorded. And uh, we, will, we will start with a roll call, Laura. Thank you. Sure. Councillor Mayori. Here. Councillor Labarge. Here. Councillor Moulton. Oops, maybe I need uh, to. We cannot unmute it. Looks okay, like, let me. I'll make them a post. I think I just asked. Oops. He's, he's still muted. Yeah. You know, I hit. Got it. Got it. I am yeah. here. You are okay. here. And Councillor Nash. Here. Excellent. So we have a quorum. Uh, so the first thing we have on our agenda is the approval of the meet minutes from the previous meeting. Thank you for getting those together, Laura. Right. I would Move entertain a motion. Move to approve. Second. Okay. Uh, any discussion or roll call? Sure. Councillor Labarge. Yes. Councillor Mayori. Yes. Councillor Moulton. Yes. And Councillor Nash. Yes. Okay, minutes are approved. Moving swiftly to our, our continuation of our public hearing to alter the layout of Winter Street continued from May 11, 2022. Um, we are actually going to change courses here. Um, and we, because we we because the the layout um, has been terminated without a decision, we need to close the public hearing. I'll second that hearing. That motion. Uh, so was that well, your we motion? need someone to make a motion to. Yeah, I, I'll, 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 I'll move. I'll move that we close the hearing without determination. Thank you, and then a second from Councilor Le yes. Lebarge. Excellent. Yes. Right. Uh, yes, Councillor Nash. Yeah, I just want, before we close, I just want to ask the room if there's anybody who'd like to speak prior to us closing the hearing, although we are probably not moving forward with this matter, just right. if somebody wants to speak, and I'm not seeing anybody, so. <laughs> Thank you for pausing for that, uh, because it is public hearing, and before we close, we would want to hear from everyone, even though this motion, it, you know, the original hearing purposes isn't been terminated. So if there's no uh, member of the public, I would say roll call on the motion to close the public hearing. Uh, Laura. Councilor Mayori, sure. Yes. Councilor Labarge. Yes. Councilor Moulton. Yes. And Councilor Nash. Yes. Okay, so the public hearing is now closed. And um, so, I would entertain a new motion based on our on the on our uh, the new information we've received on this project uh -huh. um, to um, to, hold on just a sec I just lost my agenda <laughs> the, uh, you know uh, so so we've heard from solicitor Seawald and we also have uh, DPW director Lasalia here um, and we could let them speak on this I, what we heard. Um, Solicitor Seawald was going to join us. He might be late because he was, um, you know, in the, in the, I believe it was the, um, part, uh, the Board of Health meeting. So he might be here, but he did send us a letter recommending that we um, support the, the, the new course, which will be an easement on Winter Street for the purposes of drainage and snow storage and removal. So that's, the, that's what we would be recommending to full council, that, that, um, that motion. If, um, how, how, are, uh, how are the committee members feeling? Would you like uh, to hear from Director Lasalia or? Yes, yeah. yes. please. <laughs> Excellent, thank you for that. Welcome director. I'm moving fast tonight, like an auctioneer. I don't know what's up yes. with me, a little too much coffee. <laughs> I'll take a breath. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Counselor. So, it, yes, what, what we're looking to do at this point is um, we're looking for your uh, positive recommendation for us to take an easement over the area in question. So this is the, the same area we've been talking about. It, it's a dead end of Winter Street. It's uh, roughly 33 by 70. 
Um, and it, we need um, legal access to this area in order to enable us to, to put the Winter Street Reconstruction Project out to bid. Um, and before we can do that, we, um, we need an order of conditions from the Conservation Commission, um, and that actually has to be part of the, uh, the bid package. Um, so that's why we're trying to move this along. Um, and, it, you know, at this point, the abutters on either side of this uh, 33 by 70 area own to the center line. So in the documents that I sent earlier today, um, there's a, a plan and in the plan it shows parcel A and parcel B. Um, so the parcel is, is actually split in half for the purposes of, of this discussion tonight. Um, and each abutter owns to the center line. So what we are looking for is an easement. We're looking to take an easement over this entire area, um, as you said, Councillor, for the purposes of, of drainage um, and for the purposes of snow removal and storage. Um, because Winter Street is a dead end street, so we have to push the snow all the way to the end of the street and, and then store it there um, in order to remove it in a way that, that allows for the roadway to be de-iced. Um, but again, uh, the, the purposes of, of this easement is, is some housekeeping from a, for us from a legal standpoint um, so that we can properly permit and, and bid this project. So I'm um, looking for a positive recommendation from you uh, to go to the full council um, to acquire this easement. Uh, Councillor Moulton. I move uh, that we issue a positive recommendation on the request for uh, easement for drainage and uh, snow removal. Right. right. Yes, Councillor Labarge. Yes, um, we've been told by our city solicitor, right, that we had a request that our hearing on the layout of Winter Street, Winter Street be terminated. And now Donna's coming in and talking about that our committee recommend that the city acquire drainage easements, but not to lay out a public way, correct, Donna? Correct? Yes, that's correct. Sorry, I'm having a little trouble with my mute button. Yes, that's correct. So we're, we're not, we, for, for our purposes, we just need an easement for a okay. drainage. We don't need to lay it out as a public way. Okay, thank you. Right, it seems like a more precise approach to the problem. Yeah, exactly. Mr. Moulton. So I want to thank uh, Director Lascalia for her work to trying to untangle what started as a fairly innocuous request and has become more complicated uh, she's worked with uh, Attorney Seawald on this. Uh, I've talked to uh, the, the neighbors most affected by the, uh, the water main breaks in 2006 and 2019 who had property damage. Uh, and they, and of course that risk remains. So they're very concerned about getting this infrastructure project done during this construction season. Uh, so I am uh, supporting and uh, urge us to move ahead with this expeditiously. Right. Um, Councilor Nash. Yeah, it, I don't know if Councilor Labarge beat me to this, but I would like to second um, Councilor Moulton's uh, motion. And, um, and I also wanna say that, you know, I'm looking at uh, our previous, the, the documents we already had. Um, and one of them is, let's see, what is it? It is 22.076, an order authorizing the acquisition of easements to alter the layout of Winter Street. Okay. And I think that um, it just in terms of, so we don't seem like we're going completely, um, uh, you know, making stuff up out of whole cloth. We have this, um, this order that was sent to us and that what we'd like, we'd like to send, I'm going to propose that we, we alter uh, your motion, uh, Councillor Moulton, to, to say that we want to send this order back to council yes. uh, with a positive recommendation, less the layout that, because this is talking about easements. And exactly. So, and, and I think that relates to what uh, Councilor Labarge's point was as well. So I, I think this, 
Um, I, I like that it keeps everything nice and neat that we're actually dealing with the with the legislation rather than um, it's not new legislation. We're, we're actually the ultimately what this was about was getting the easement so we could get the street done. Uh-huh. So um, that yes. would be. I, I accept that. I accept that language. And that's entirely correct. OK, cool. And you second your own uh, amendment there, Councilor Nash, right? <laughs> I guess. Yeah, so am I, yeah, yeah I guess that, <laughs> that's right. As long as Laura can follow what we're doing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's simple. If we lose Laura, we're in trouble because we, I don't, you know, <laughs> out of the woods of municipal uh, governance and rules. Um, that sounds, that, that makes sense to me that that's, that's great because we're kind of building on what's there and, and um, okay. And this is, yeah, this is, you know, this is very time sensitive since, so I'm glad we're moving on this because right. we don't really know when these drainage problems will, you know, hit, uh, hit a critical place. Yes, yeah. Council Labarge. Yes, and I also think you have the language from our city solicitor <laughs> and it says it exactly what this is all about. We heard Donna Luscalia talked just a little while ago about the 33 by 70 and the easement over the entire area of and drainage. Okay. And this is exactly what your language is stating, which Councillor Nash just repeated again. And that's what he's asking us to charge as our committee to send to city council. That's right. So yes, Councillor Nash. Yeah, and I just want to say, um, underline why we want to send this with a positive recommendation. We were right. charged with doing a public hearing. We, we've we done that. Uh, we've heard from folks. And clearly, everybody wants this to move forward and get resolved. I know that there's the, the NIBORs would like it resolved as well. They, they may be moving a little bit slower than, uh, or, you know, the, the rest of the neighbors want this done pronto. Um, and so I, I'm comfortable with, you know, this uh, moving this with a positive recommendation back to council. I'll second that motion. Okay. Yes, director. I, I just want to add that there may be um, some revision that's needed to the actual language of the easement to, to make it more specific, um, which I, it will be done before it, it goes back to council for the second time. So I just want to add that I've had that conversation with uh, the city solicitor um, and there will, there will likely be some minor uh, uh, revisions to that language. So hopefully that's not problematic to this committee right no we can just look we can we can revisit the language and you can point it point it out when it comes to full council but i yeah i'm comfortable okay. with this are we okay and and i'm sorry yeah. counselor j- yeah, just one more it. thing that i want to let this committee know um is is that we do have a, a, an opinion of value on this parcel um from the the city's assessor um, and so we will be paying damages, um, it, it's called damages, um, right. to each abutter in the amount of $1,000. So e- each of the abutters on either side of this parcel will each receive $1,000 from the city for this easement. Okay. Oh, that's very good information. Thank yeah, you. it is. Okay, any other comments from counselors, directors? If not, we do have a, a motion on the floor and a second. So we could uh, do a roll call. Thank you, Laura. Councillor Maori. Yes. Councillor Labarge. Yes. Councillor Moulton. Yes. And Councillor Nash. Yes. Okay, so that it will go to uh, City Council with a positive recommendation. And I'm just... I guess we are, there's nothing else on the agenda besides any new business or we didn't have any financial orders. So if there's no new business. Motion to adjourn. Second. Roll call, please. Councillor Mayori. Yes. Councillor Labarge. Yes. Councillor Moulton. Yes. And Councillor Nash. Yes. 
And we are so adjourned. And I will go meet the other eighth grade parents and we are going to practice singing, Don't Stop Believing. <laughs>